What's up ghouls? It's Blaze and welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you a Spooky Box Club unboxing. Here it is. I'm super fucking excited. Um, but before I start this video, I can't breathe. Every time I sit down to record, I'm like, Ooh. Okay, so my headpiece I bought from a local like pagan fair. Couldn't tell you who the seller was, I don't remember, I'm ever so sorry. My makeup today is inspired by Belle Jordan, the tutorial will be linked down below. I love her, I'm obsessed with her, I thought I'd recreate, recreate, pumpkin just found one of her toys. I would recreate one of her looks and this is my favourite one, just full of glitter. My choker I bought off eBay, my top is from H&M and my bralette is from Primark. And I have the world's noisiest trousers. Yeah. PVC. <laughs> um, yeah. It's, I'm very extra today. My setup's so messy. I swear I did make it look nice. Ah, ah, don't do it. Okay, so Pumpkin stopped playing with her thing so we can get on with it. There's a little bit of shadow going on here. Better? Who knows? Okay, so the box we have here is the Entomologist Study. So this sounds like it's going to be really cute. There is the sticker. So this box had to be delivered to my house five times before I received it. DPD played me. It was like, we can't find your address. We can't find your address. I phoned them, it must have been four times. I spent in total, I was on hold for one hour I got hung up on, I got ignored on the chat, they did not want me to get this box, but I have it. Perseverance people, perseverance. So I'm going to enjoy this box even more, knowing that the universe tried to not let me have it. But here it is. Oh my god, I see green, I'm excited. Okay, so we have our card and it's all nice and green and pretty, so I'm going to read that later. The first thing I've picked up, oh my god, so cute. Let me take out the cellophane. So we have, um, my trousers are so noisy. The, even the backing for this is just absolutely gorgeous. I think I'm gonna keep it because it's so pretty. So it's like a print, but then on the front it's got a, what are you called? A patch and it is an Atticus Luna. I hope I said that right. So it looks like a moth, presumably one that comes out at night or one that, I don't know is awake at night and it's green and really pretty and it's a really big patch I'm pretty sure these are iron on it's just so gorgeous that's so pretty I know loads and loads of like goth or darkly inclined people are like insanely obsessed with moths so I think a lot of people opening this box will be really really happy with that I myself more interested in the print I think that's gorgeous so yeah that's pretty cool oh my god these are so cute this is Creepy Crawlies Peel and Stick Nail Decals for Instant Claw Decor. Oh my god, this is so cute. So there's loads and loads of different little bugs on a sticker sheet there, so you can pop them on your nails. My nails are awful, so I won't be putting them on yet, but oh my god, so freaking cute. Oh my god, I want to put the ladybirds on. When my mum worked in a preschool, her little group was the ladybird group. I'm obsessed with ladybirds now. I'm like, oh, that's like my mom. So cute. Ooh craft stickers oh okay oh this is so pretty this looks like some kind of um like old victorian almost like a textbook or like a someone who's an entomologist's record of all the bugs they found but these are in fact stickers so these are so cute all kinds of different bugs on there again ladybirds oh there's a little honeybee Oh my god, a cabbage looper. That's so cute. I think I'll end up putting some of these in my bullet journal. They're so cute. Okay, next up we have something. Oh my god, this is huge. Okay, okay it looks like a bag. Oh my god, this is this is too cute. So it's a giant tote bag. This is like the size of it. This is so good because at the moment I am just stopping on refraining from using plastic bags when I don't have to. We all know there's a whole crisis going on with the amount of plastic that we use and waste. So I'm all for reusable shopping bags. And this one says, stop bugging me. Oh my God. How adorable is that? This is just so cute. And it's a really big size and it's like, 
it's a really sturdy one too. It's not like, you know, a lot of times you go somewhere and they'll give you like random free tote bags and they're just kind of, they don't last. This one's even got a pocket inside that says Spooky Box Club in there. So you could pop like your phone or your purse in there. And then, so you could use it even as like, I don't know, take it to uni, take it to work, whatever you do. It's a really big sturdy bag. I could definitely fit my laptop and my textbooks and stuff in there. So that's so, so cool. I'm definitely gonna be using that and think Jake will love it too. It's really, really cute. Oh, that's the Death's Head Moth, isn't it? Is that the Luna one? Yeah, there's like the, the Luna one there. I'm pretty sure that's the Death's Head Moth, isn't it? You know, the one that's on like Hannibal. Is that right? I'm pretty sure it's right. Cute. Okay, then we have, this looks like a necklace in a little organza pouch. Oh, cute, cute, cute. Oh my God, this is so adorable. Okay, let me take the plastic off of it. So it's a, it's a really long necklace, which is really cool. Um, oh, it's a little bit twisted. Yeah, so it's a really long necklace on a silver chain. There's a little charm on there with a ladybird, of course. And it says Spooky Fox Club on the back. And then there is a magnifying glass. It's gonna be really hard to show you guys. Can you see that, a ladybird and a magnifying glass, obviously, so you could like study bugs up close. Oh my God, will it make my eye look funny? Oh yes. This is the dream, look at this. <laughs> Maybe this will be the thumbnail. But I'm having too much fun with this. So yeah, that's so super cute. And it's useful too. If you really are into searching for bugs, then this is hella useful. I might put the wrap back on it. Where did it go? <laughs> we have something else in a little pouch here. Let me see. Okay, I'm gonna open the piece of paper first. This butterfly specimen necklace is cruelty free. The butterfly died naturally and was collected afterwards. There may be little imperfections on the wings as the butterfly wasn't killed for purpose and damage may have occurred during its natural life. We hope you love your necklace and feel this is a beautiful way to honor and preserve such magnificent creatures long after they have gone. Oh my God. Cute, cute, cute. Open, open. Oh, that's so adorable. So it's a little butterfly, or is it just its wing? I think it's just a butterfly wing. So again, it's a really long necklace. This time it's kind of like a, um, it's a gold, but it's more of like a muted gold, more like a kind of rusty type gold. Um, it's again, a long chain. And then on the end, there's like a jar. And inside, please focus, because this is so beautiful. There's a butterfly's wing in there, how cute. I, for one, am in love with this type of thing. Um, I have I only have one piece of taxidermy so far, which I did show in a previous video, um, but I'd definitely like to collect more. I have like old bones and stuff. So this is just, oh, this is so cute. And you can wear it, which is even cuter. It's kind of like um, Memento Mori from the Victorian era where you'd wear like you'd have jewelry made from like the hair of like a deceased loved one. So it's like remembering the dead in everyday life. Too cute. Next up we have a giant lollipop. Okay, mine got a little bit crushed, which I'm impressed that this box is being delivered five times and the only thing that's broken is a lollipop. I'm pretty impressed. But it's like a yellow and reddy, pinky, big chunky lollipop. So I'm definitely gonna enjoy that later. And then the last thing in here is a pin. This is huge. Oh my god! So um, the back of the, the pin is really cute, or the backing for the pin, and then it's a big gold and blue. Is it a beetle? I think it's a beetle. It's really cute. I've got confetti stuck to my finger. Yeah, super cute. Oh, I feel like the blue on that, you could do like a really nice blue eye and then have this like pinned in your coat and it'd be like... Pew. So yeah, super cute. That is everything, all the confetti that came in the box. I've got little purple spiders and little black cobwebs. Super, super cute. Oh, I feel like you could do like a little wing on your eye with these. Cute. Yes, 
So that is everything in this box. I think my favourite thing has to be the butterfly wing in the jar as a necklace. That is just too gorgeous. So yeah, I, I love pretty much everything we got in this box to be honest. This was a really cute box. When I first saw it, I was like, mm, I don't know. I was never really one of those kids that was like mega into like playing with bugs or catching bugs or anything. I didn't really play outside that much. I was more into staying inside and playing with my dolls. Um, so I didn't think I was gonna like it, but I ended up actually really loving this box. It was a really cute, fun box. So yeah, that is everything for this video. Let me know what you thought down below in the comment section. I love these Spooky Box Club videos. However, I think I may be stopping um, my subscription soon obviously i still have a few boxes to come but they've just increased the price not a considerable amount i think it rounds it up to 30 so it's probably like an extra five pounds or something but i was considering stopping it for a while um my i think it's my electricity bill has gone up and i'm gonna have to start paying for my phone contract too so um i think i'm gonna have to stop it for a while i have had over pumpkin <laughs> I've had like a good year with Spooky Box Club, even longer I think, so I've really enjoyed my boxes, but I think I'm going to end it soon, which is really sad. But yes, anyway, thank you so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!